Hey y'all, it's the Plant Ninja. Today's video is gonna be about hydroponics. Full disclosure, I have very little experience with hydroponics, but it is a technique that I wanted to start utilizing um, in my upcoming spring garden. And so I thought I would dig in and do a little research and then share what I've learned. Now, I do totally understand that there's a big difference between having knowledge and having some experience. So uh, if you've got a lot more experience than I do and you see perhaps an inaccuracy, something that's not correct, or perhaps you just have a bit of hydroponic wisdom for us, please do not hesitate to share it in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What sparked my interest in hydroponics originally was the idea that you could grow plants year round indoors, especially vegetables, uh, though the benefits really don't stop there. Um, you tend to use a lot less water with hydroponics, and even though the prefix hydro does mean water, you just tend to use a lot less than you do with something uh, when you have plants with soil-based medium. You also take up less space, especially if you tend to use these vertical systems. Many are prefabricated. You can even um, kind of put them against a wall uh, in a kitchen um, and things like that. And then many times you also speed up the growth process of your plants. So there are some basic supplies you're going to need for a hydroponic setup. The first being grow lights. You may skip this or not need it at all if you're gonna be using your setup outdoors and the plants get plenty of light. You'll also need a grow tray to suspend your plants in. You will need growth medium. Uh, you may opt for solid growth medium like these expandable clay pebbles or you may opt for a nutrient solution. If you do use a nutrient solution, you'll need some way to deliver oxygen into the solution, which the plant needs. So you'll need a uh, air pump, and then you'll need uh, tubing to deliver the air from the pump actually into an air stone, which is suspended in the nutrient solution and actually delivers the air into it. And so before I go into some of the different types of hydro hydroponic setups, I wanted to discuss just a couple of main themes. Uh, the first main theme is whether or not the hydroponic setup will be an active setup in which uh, there is a pump that delivers nutrient solution to the root of the plant versus a passive setup in which the plant actually uses capillary action or it has a growth media like the expandable clay uh, pellets uh, that deliver or pull nutrient solution to the root of the plant. The second theme is whether or not the setup is a recovery versus a non-recovery setup. Um, the recovery setup is one in which the nutrient solution that is utilized by the plant, the excess is captured and reused versus a non-recovery setup, the um, nutrient solution that is utilized by the plants is not captured and therefore not reused. So keep those things in mind as we're looking at the next few hydroponic setups. The wick system is the most basic form of hydroponics. Essentially, the growth container is filled with media and suspended above a nutrient solution. Uh, wicks run between the two and draw the nutrient solution up toward the plant. In the deep water culture, the plants are suspended in containers directly above the nutrient solution, allowing the roots to be in direct contact with the solution. In the ebb and flow system, water is periodically pumped from a reservoir below to the plant roots, and then the unused portion returns via gravity to the reservoir. The nutrient film setup is pretty similar, but this is one in which there is constantly flowing nutrient solution through the bare roots of the plants. The drip system pumps the nutrient solution from the reservoir below onto the plant roots via drip lines. And last but not least is aeroponics. And this is a setup in which the plants are suspended in the air and the roots are constantly misted with the nutrient solution. So after everything I've learned about hydroponics, I think that I'm probably gonna opt for a deep water culture setup. It seems to be uh, pretty beginner friendly. Um, I'm just not sure of what version 
of the deep water culture setup I'm gonna get yet. There are some prefabricated options that are very um, aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but their price tag is also reflective of that and they're pretty expensive. So I'm not sure that that's maybe really what I need to get. Um, there are also um, some much more affordable options that uh, the deep water culture setup that I saw online for maybe like $34, $35. I'll probably try to visit a, uh, a local shop uh, just to give some small business um, a little love and see what I can find there. And I'll probably also get some really great advice. So that I think as I get this figured out, um, hopefully I will um, be able to get an update uh, on my channel. Um, and I'll make sure I've got it going so I can kind of let you know what I've learned along the way. Um, I think, you know, hydroponics is a really great way to extend your growing season. I think right now, at least at the filming of this video, it's winter and um, there's really not a lot to do in terms of growing things in the garden. It's a lot of maintenance type things that a lot of us are doing. Um, but hydroponics really does offer a great way to extend that growing season, kind of keep your hands and uh, your green thumb very busy. And so I think it's worth considering. Um, and like I said, there's some great options that are not very expensive out there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Y'all take care.